Hello, I am Elmer the Fado, and welcome back to another episode of Police Simulator Patrol Officers. We're going to jump straight into a night car patrol in Jefferson. Uh, we have got a high crime rate that we need to uh, that we need to deal with. We've we've sorted that out in I think it was Baytown, uh, but now we've got a bit more work to do all around the rest of our uh, our city, Brighton. So we're going to jump straight into Jefferson today. Here we go. Civilians don't always tell the truth. Well, we know that. If the picture on an ID does not match the person, it is a stolen ID. Indeed. Here we go. Get the hat on. Okay, it mustn't have been Baytown that the high crime rate was in. Would have been somewhere else then. Area has a high criminal activity. Let's uh let's do something about it. This area has high criminal activity. Ready yourself to show some police presence. Well that was quick. Well oh. oh there we go. That worried me for a second there. Please respond. Here we go. Lights and sirens. We're going. Wait, it wants us to go all the way around, but it's just here. We're not doing that. Oh, no, that's the one we want to keep on. Oh, goodness, you've had a, a doozy here. You've really had a doozy here. Okay. I've arrived at the scene of the accident. Let's I have get the ambulance called. Requesting an ambulance. Uh, okay, ambulance is coming for all of them. Goodness me, something major has happened here. Where's the driver of this car? Okay, driver of the car is here. You tell me what happened. Can you describe what you saw? That person was jaywalking, officer. You have to arrest him. Okay. Please show me your license and vehicle registration. That's a new one. We haven't had someone yes, complain there you go. that someone was jaywalking in a in a crash before. Invalid registration and insurance on the car that says 5NO as the license plate. I'm just taking a sample to see if you've been drinking and driving. We'll have a look at all that. Yeah, you're drunk. You're like majorly I'll take a drunk. Check if you've taken drugs before driving. Like, like you're way over the limit. Let me see. Can you hear me? Let I'm me still hear in your shock, shock, but I'm, I'm all right. not sure, okay, officer. More than hurt. Maybe I forgot to use the turn signal. Own? We need to take a closer look. Okay, okay, Doc. I can manage, I think. Let me have a look at your license and registration, please. Here you go, officer. Thank you. Have a gaze. What do we got here? Maria Bianchi. Um, yep. That's right. Registration invalid for 5kp. Okay. Okay. Let's just check if you're under the influence of alcohol. Okay. Let me see what I can do. Okay, you're fine yeah, on that it front. It hurts. Get the old drug I'm just there. I'm taking a sample to see if you've used okay, any good. drugs while driving. Can you walk on your own and come with me to the ambulance for further examination? Yes. Okay, uh, cool. Let me stand up. I'll come with you. I'll be back with you. 5kp, yep, so that's right. Probably got no, yeah, no plate on it. Um, is there one on the ground somewhere? 5kp is that one, okay. 5no, yeah, okay. That is the right car. We can get him for all that other stuff because that is the car. Um, let's get a camera out and get some pictures of all this. Which 
surely, surely there's one for the skid here. Here it is. Look at it. Yes. This car is in very bad shape from this accident. I don't know how they've ended up where they are with all the damage that's happened. Like, it's... It's truly mind-boggling. I wonder if this person saw it or if they're just standing here chilling. The report is complete. Well, not yet. I haven't got all the photos yet. Alright. Cool. So... Uh, for you, what do we have for you, Maria? It's just your invalid registration. This is your accident report. Uh, she went silent there for a second. Um, but we are going to have to get you for your car having an expired license plate. I have to find you for having an expired license plate. It will cost you between fifty and two hundred fifty dollars. Okay, well, you can go. You're good to go. Drive safe and have a nice well, don't day. drive. You probably shouldn't drive this car. I have a car here that needs towing. Please send a tow truck to my current location. Tow truck will be you can leave now. Have a great day. Possible. Person's probably real confused. They're just minding their own business. All of a sudden, someone walks up to them and just says, You can leave now. Have a nice day. All right. Alright, your accident report, report which that says that you were very Thank much you. over the legal limit. Uh, let's just double check what we've got on you here. So, uh, registration and insurance. You're being charged and ticketed for between fifty and two hundred fifty dollars for driving a car with an expired license plate. So much money for such a small infraction. Okay. Well, there's more. Um, because you also have no valid insurance. I'm charging you for not having valid insurance. Why does it cost so much? Well, next, we're gonna place you under arrest for The DUI. reason why you're under arrest is because you were drinking and driving. Please cooperate. Oh, please don't do that. Alright. I'm gonna put your car I have a vehicle towed. here for towing. Can you send a tow truck to my current location? Tow truck will be at your location shortly. Please proceed with Alright, let's take car. you. We're gonna take you ourselves, cause the uh Cause the arrest transport's been a bit uh bit buggy lately and just not even taking you away, just getting to the back door and waiting, which I think isn't um means it's not giving us the, the points and all that which we uh which we'd like. Um, this is America, so left hand drive. Yep. Here we go. Here we go. The tow truck's on the you way. Right to remain silent. Any statement you make may be used for or against you in a court of law. You have the right to have a competent and independent counsel, preferably of your own choice. And if you cannot afford the services of a counsel, the government will provide you one. Do you understand these rights? Okay, I think the station should be just around here. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, right hand, okay, right hand side. There we go. Oops. It's always the thing when playing this game is remembering. Oh, that car is loud. It's always the, the thing is always remembering what side of the road I'm meant to be on and what side of the car I'm meant to get in. Those are the those are the two things every time that I've gotta I've gotta figure out. Especially if I've been um I'm taking you to our precinct cell now. If I've been driving before I uh before I record and I, I go out and do something and come back and then record. It throws me right off. I'm like driving on the wrong side of the road, going on the wrong side of the car, all that stuff. But uh, thankfully that doesn't happen the opposite way. 
in uh, in person. All right, here we go. Let's get you in here. Stay here. Well, he's not got much choice, has he? He's uh, he's about to be locked in. Still love that little touch that they they fiddle with. Oh, there we go. We've eradicated the police presence issue in Jefferson just by arresting this fella. Well, that works. Um, I do love the little touch they add where they um, where they like they grab their wrists and give it a little little something just because you know they've had handcuffs on it hurts. It's a nice little nice little detail they've added here. But uh, let's. Let's figure out what we'll do for the rest of this shift. See if we get any other uh, any other callouts come out because that was that callout just came out immediately, so immediately that the game froze for a second because it was confused. Okay, we've got a turn here. You're using the wrong turn signal. Oh no, your tail lights are out, and you didn't use a turn signal. Yeah, that's true actually. I literally just commented on how you weren't using a turn signal. And one of the tail lights is also broken. Oh, insurance and registration is also invalid. I pulled you over because you didn't use your turn signal when you were supposed to. I'm pretty sure you didn't use your turn signal either. Ooh. Did I? I'm pretty sure I did, actually. Good chance I didn't, but, Could um... you please show me your ID and the vehicle insurance? Sure. Here you go, officer. Oh, does that match with the registration? Yes, that name matches. Um... Ooh, I think that might be expired. Oh wait, we've already established that it was expired, haven't we? So registration and insurance. Okay. Driver. No valid insurance. I have to fine you for not having valid insurance. Really? That is so much money. You're being charged and ticketed for between your your copping it here. Dollars. Goodness. Driving a car with an expired license plate. So much money for such a small infraction. And then not using your turn You're signal. You're being charged and ticketed for between sixty and one hundred fifty dollars for failure to use a turn signal. So much money for such a small infraction. Now that I've charged for all that, well, this told me about the yeah broken tail lights. Wait, I'm wait, giving you an you with $80 ticket for today. driving with a defective taillight. Why does it cost so much? Now let's see if we've missed anything. Headlights working. Yeah, we've got you with everything we can. Um, you know Slowly what? I think we might test you because you've been acting nervous please. and whatnot. Let's see if there's anything else we can hit you with. Oh, we can just test you because we pulled you over. To check if you're drunk. You'll take a test to see if Here you've been go. driving under the influence of drugs. Well, that still makes the noise as if they're blowing into the alcohol tube there. Okay. All right, you're fine to go now. You're free to go. Stay safe and have a great day. Uh, oh, oh, that's in Callahan Financial Sector. Oh, we can, we can get some people here. Oh, that was almost a crash. Well, we found another one. I don't think we'll be able to get all of it in Callahan in this small time we've got. To be fair, but we'll do what we can. Gotta wait for a green light. Uh. 
Where are you gonna pull over? That's the real question. Around here. I think we're about to get a green here. That car's sliding around. Having spied license plate too. They're lucky I'm already going after this person for, what was it, headlights, I think. Alright. <coughs> what Your have we got? Over, Our shift is officer. over. Um, 7MY P62. What do we got for you? Everything's valid, so it looks like it's just the headlights. We might just give you a warning for that, since it's a pretty simple thing. I stopped you because your headlight is broken. Is it really that bad? Come on, I'll get them fixed in a few days. We'll see about that. Show me your ID and proof of insurance, if available, please. Here you go, officer. Alright, here we go. Oh, you're not the owner of this car. Oh, the car's reported stolen. I didn't even see that. Oh, my. Okay. Okay. Well, look, we're gonna... what I'm going to do is I'm going to charge you for the broken headlight, <laughs> even though you stole the you car. Driving with a broken headlight. It will cost you $150. Because I just think my that's funny that I'm charging you for that. Um, even though it's not your car. But Please I'm going to get you to get out, out of the, the car now. And walk to the sidewalk. You're being arrested for driving a stolen car. Move to the sidewalk, please. Oh, come on. You must be kidding me. No. Not. Really not. I have a car here that needs towing. Please send a tow truck to my current location. I'll escort you All to right. the patrol car now. Here we go. Mind your head. I love the little shove he gives to make sure they, they don't hit their head. I need to move before the tow truck gets here and, you have the right to remain silent. and uh, puts a car on top of me. It's done that before. One of the really early episodes. I think it's the title of the episode is about how the tow truck hits me. Do you understand these rights? Um, I'm doing something here. Oh, hello. I did something sneaky, just to uh, avoid traffic a little bit there. But I just wanted to, I want to do this in the Callahan financial sector. So we can see if that'll finish off our police presence thing by, it's time to uh, take by arresting to someone <clears throat> in the area. We'll find out. Because if we can get a two for one. We're, uh, we're, we're doing well. Would be nice if we could walk a bit faster, though. Make them sprint. Oh, this one looks a bit different. Where do we go? We'll go here. Oh, no, we can't put you in that one. Okay. We'll put you in this one, though. It's time for you to get in the cell. All right, there we go. Oh, what are you standing on there? There is nothing there. All right, let's just close that. Oh, look how close that got us. Goodness. All right, well, let's, um, where is it? There it is. Let's end a, a successful shift there, I think. There we go. Frank Miller, he's done some great work today. He's at 508 shift points. Ooh, we've almost leveled up there. Uh, okay, here we go. So now, 
Oh, Conway's back. It was Conway we got rid of the high crime rate, but now it's back. Is this just going to happen until we get rid of all of them in one? Because that ain't happening. But anyway, we'll uh, we'll be back with another episode where we're trying to trying to rid this this place of its high crime rate. But until then, I've been Elmato the Photo. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.